ion flow is responsible for maintaining membrane resting potential and for response to stimulus. Well, ions, of course, are highly charged, and they cannot cross the phospholipid bilayer by themselves, so they cross through ion channels. We recognize two kinds of ion channels, channels which are, for some ions, almost always open, or they seem to be open all the time, and others that are regulated, that is, can be opened or closed in response to a certain stimulus, and these are called gated channels. Let's take a look at what causes a gated channel to open and allow the flow of ion. One thing could be a change in membrane potential. The neural impulse that is propagated down an axon is a little voltage jolt, and when it reached the nerve ending, it opened a voltage-gated channel in the nerve ending membrane. That would be an example of a voltage-gated channel. We also saw in the cartoon of how a nerve functions the binding of a chemical, the neurotransmitter, to the responding cell. And we're going to see that that binding opens another ion channel, this time in the responding cell. And therefore, that channel is considered chemically gated or ligand gated. Ligand is just a fancy word for the kind of molecule that binds to the channel protein. Okay, So that's a ligand gated channel. There are also mechanical stress stimuli that regulate mechanically gated channels. Needless to say, these channels are proteins. They are proteins that can respond to a voltage jolt or to uh, the binding of a chemical like a neurotransmitter. Or in the case of stress, they can actually be slightly deformed by a stressor.